Hey guys, welcome to another video from Historic Militaria. Uh, and today we are looking at a pretty unusual broom handle. I know we've looked at a few unusual broom handles on a few videos, but this one um, is definitely a, a kind of a unique one. Uh, it is in the 29,000 serial number range. So that dates it to about 1900 to maybe 1902 at the latest. Uh, the interesting thing about this one is in the 29,000 serial number range of guns, it seems like Mauser was really experimenting with their guns. Uh, so they actually made a lot of these little bolos, and these are sort of the prototype of what you'll see for the later bolos. I know we've looked at uh, some of the the cone hammer bolos from the late 1890s, but this really has all the features that you're going to see on the bolos of the 1920s. Uh, for one thing, you've got your smaller grip here, whereas the cone hammer bolos had a full size grip. And uh, this is an interesting one because it's actually these are factory grips numbered to this gun. Uh, it's got a sort of a floral motif, and I believe these are in um, gutta percha or hard rubber of some sort. Um, they're very intricate and obviously very nicely made by Mauser. Uh, the gun itself is obviously in unfired condition, uh, so don't really know where this one has been. I don't have a lot of history on this gun, but it did appear from a collection uh, a number of years ago and has just been um, kind of put away apparently. Uh, on this one you've got your standard Mauser front sight which is the standard uh, front sight of all of them with the banded barrel that you'll see on bolos. You've got your bolo length barrel. You've got your early Ulm proof house mark right there which is an antler and that was done away with by about serial number 35 40,000 so you won't really be seeing that anymore um, that was just put on in Germany that the gun had been proofed um, other than that you got your standard Mauser bluing your standard Mauser uh, panel milling here and factory mark and this is, of course, a large ring hammer gun, so that does date it uh, definitely in that early, very, very early part of the 1900s. So really by about 1905, they had phased out the large ring hammer in favor of the small ring hammer. And we will take a look at the differences, uh, specific differences, uh, in a later video. As you can see, uh, the large ring hammer is what came after the cone hammer. The cone hammer, of course, had two cone-shaped projections on either side of the hammer, and that uh, gave itself uh, the cone hammer name, as well as this was not hollowed out. Uh, so this actually had more concentric rings in the hammer. You've got your typical Mauser fire bluing on all the small parts, except your trigger which is strawed, uh, much like Luger's of the time. So Mauser would do both the fire blue on small parts and the straw. And the straw stayed around till about the 80,000 serial number range. On your top here, you've got some wear on your original fired blue uh, cursor for the sight, but you do have the very optimistic tangent sight going out to a thousand meters on this one. And this one is cut for a shoulder stock. So this is has all the hallmarks of the full size pistol. It, uh, it doesn't have a, a bolo type sort of shortened uh, rear sight. Uh, a lot of later bolos did actually have only up to a 500 meter sight. Not all, but, but definitely some. You'll see some contracts and some serial number ranges that only had that. I'm not sure if it was special order for customers or what, but uh, you'll see them kind of inter interchangeably in the 1920s when Mauser was making more of these. This gun uh, also has the characteristic long extractor of the early guns, so that was phased out by about serial number 35,000, I believe, maybe 40,000. Um, they went to a shorter extractor. 
get a better grip on this guy. Hard to do this video with gloves on. But you've got your standard Mauser serial or, um, markings on the chamber here. You've got your standard serial number, which Mauser kept the serial numbers here for a long, long time. And you've got your standard kind of milling. This is actually a very shallow milling. And this would be called a, uh, for the large ring hammers that were full size, this would be called a shallow milled uh, side panels. And there were different variants um, of the large ring hammer for the panel milling. This is sort of a short-lived variant that went out of, of favor with Mauser by about 32, 33,000 uh, serial number range. So that's just kind of an interesting thing. You've got your standard 10-shot magazine. Everything else on the gun is extremely standard. All the takedown is the same. You've got your standard Mauser proofs under the barrel and your standard crown U right there. Uh, this gun does in fact have a matching shoulder stock that is a standard length shoulder stock but made to fit a bolo pistol. Um, the real, Really the interesting thing about this gun is the grips. You don't see this kind of a grip pattern on a lot of Mausers. Most of them that had black grips like this would actually be a monogrammed uh, Mauser work or MW monogram on it. There was a variant that had a cherub shooting a mythical creature with a broom handle. Those are extremely rare guns and uh, uh, hopefully we can get our hands on one of those to take a look at at some point. But uh, you still got your original type safety here, the same that you'd find on cone hammers, which is um, up for or up for safe no i'm sorry up for fire and down for safe so this gun is currently on safe and uh to open it up obviously you put it on fire cock your hammer pull your bolt right here back and this gun as i said is unfired it's got um, still some of the original grease inside of it which is kind of interesting and you take a look at the back here. You've got your standard repeated serial number and your hammer number to the gun as well. But just sort of the interesting things that Mauser was doing with their guns at this time. Uh, I have seen other Mausers from the 29,000 serial number range specifically that are also bolos but have some different features. I've seen ones with checkered wood grips instead of the typical broom handle uh, standard sort of uh, serrated grips. There's just a lot of very interesting uh, variants out there. There's six shots that were made in the 29,000 serial number range and all kinds of sort of interesting things. I don't know if Mauser was experimenting or if they had just come off the flat side uh, variant that they were making and then we're going to the just using up some parts to make up the the bolos and then move on to the large ring hammer full-size guns or what but uh, mauser at the time was doing just a lot of really strange things so uh, there's a lot of strange variants and you may find a gun that just kind of doesn't fit the mold and uh, a lot of these in the 29,000 serial number range are like that. So I hope you've enjoyed taking a look at this gun and uh, we'll be doing some more broom handles soon. If there's anything you'd like to see us do, like and subscribe and comment and uh, we'll see what we can do to help you out. Thanks for watching.